Hello, hello, hello to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Happy midweek Wednesday to all of my Pisces. It may be still Tuesday in some parts of the world, but this reading is for the remainder of November through the end of December, right? Pisces and the moon have a natural affinity. You all are the sign of depths of emotion and the moon represents your instinctive emotional reactions and sometimes your hidden dreams, right? And so the hidden dreams could be good or bad, right? But but your dreams could come through about somebody else dreaming something about you. I'm talking to you if you're Pisces anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, MC, IC, wherever Pisces is in your chart and you are helping people to find the light in themselves and you are on your path to healing people, there could be some disruptions, right? So focus on landing on the bright side of the moon and not the dark side of the moon. Focusing, landing on the bright side of the moon means that you're more compassionate, sensitive, loving, creative, loyal, right? You have some dreams that you want to be loyal to, right? Instead of landing on the dark side, which you'll notice in some other people, Pisces, because they're more indecisive, more discontented, they are vague, secretive, easily confused, right? So you do not want that to be you, and I don't see it being you, because I see you getting as far away from any negative or treacherous comments that may have been made to you in the past, anything that was done to you in the past. I see you physically getting as far away, so that means burning the bridge to a crisp. That means if somebody says something to me 15, 20 years ago and it's been sitting in my water all that time, I need to go ahead and make a move and burn that thing to a crisp. We have the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Six of Swords. I need to sail away from something that was deeply disappointing for me and get back on my throne. That's where the breakthrough is going to come for somebody. Is As much as you can get as far away from it, it's going to really, really help you. Like, like I said, burn the bridge to a crisp or take the sword and say, nope, I need to go ahead and sever ties with it. I need to go ahead and sever ties with it as if I buried that relationship, as if I went to the funeral of that relationship. It could have been a job. It could have been something treacherous or said or was done to somebody. That's what I'm seeing for you all. And now I'm going to focus on growing my money. That's what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to focus on thanking source in advance for creative ideas to grow my money. I need to find something else that's going to replace that space so I'm not sitting around thinking about it, giving it more power and giving it any intellect, like I'm sucking my own intellect out. I'm sucking my own power and I'm giving it to somebody who hurt me. Your ancestors are right there to help you with this process, Pisces. I see where you're feeling a lot more um, charismatic, happier, freer as a result of you moving on from something. Some of you all don't understand the value of blocking numbers. Like really, I need to block email address, email address numbers, all of those things. That doesn't make you immature. It makes you protect your own mental health. The truth of the matter is, is that you all are highly intuitive signs and you're an emotional sign. You're a very compassionate sign. This is how you take your power back. It's like, no, I don't want to keep sitting around thinking about this over and over and over again. I may have to just go ahead and sever ties with some things. I can justify why I'm moving on from somebody who was treacherous and mean spirited. Right here we have the page of swords. We have the empress card. We have the um, we have the nine of pentacles. We also have the six of swords coming out again. We have the strength card and also the queen of pentacles. So I see, okay, when we talk about the energy of money, since there's so much money in your cards here, let's look at it. Queen of pentacles. We have the seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles, right? The energy of money lies in your relationships with human beings, right? Time is your currency. How much time are you putting into your relationships with other human beings? There was a book that I had on my um, my up here that says the energy of money. I want you all to look it up because a lot of times people assume oh, I'm going to be richer, but this is about richness in your relationships with other human beings so that you don't have to pay full price for things. So then when it's time for you to buy property, you can buy property where you're, it's, you feel like it's an investment where you actually have... Um, you know, it, like I said before, that's what I'm seeing for you all so far. I don't want to I don't want to plant too many seeds, but I do see Empress card and also the strength card. I do see somebody getting their spiritual vision back, and I do see somebody successfully on the other side of your abundance and prosperity is what I see. But again, you got to take that move and um that Empress card right here lets me know that somebody is in a very sensitive uh space. Don't let that sensitivity cause you to be sick. Like um 
uh, jeopardize your immune system or you're getting sick, if that means I hey I, I gotta I, I can't come to an event, I can't do this, I'm not doing, then you know very graciously um, you know decline an offer. You know, thank you, but I'm I'm not feeling well right now, right? But I do see you sailing away from something that could have been extremely disappointing and extremely stressful for you. That's what I'm saying, and that's where the breakthrough is going to come in. You know, like like I said, somebody really did something to really hurt you. It like felt like a sword has cut you. In the past, it could have been their words, it could have been their actions. But as soon as you take action, Pisces, you're going to see a major change. So I don't see the anxiety you've been feeling about something, which again could cause somebody to get sick. I don't see that lasting for too much longer. I don't see that lasting for too much longer. Like I said before, the fact that you have, like I said, a very compassionate sign, the fact that you may have been thinking about something could have caused you to be sick because it caused you to go back down memory lane over something and then you start piecing things together like a mind map where well, I can't cut that person off because you know uh we were friends for or we had kids together or you know this is a business for you. whatever the situation is somebody's like you know what I'm just gonna risk it all I'm just gonna go ahead and move on I gotta protect my mental health and I see you forgiving them whoever it could be several people this rose course right here is about forgiveness I see for get you forgiving them for yourself and empowering yourself and just recognizing, hey, I didn't know better at the time, so how could I do better? Instead, now I know better, so I'm going to do better, right? Yeah. And so that's where I see someone making peace with something and going ahead and closing out a chapter, and then now you have room to receive abundance and wealth, and so whatever you do with that, right? And also getting away from feeling like you were foolish about things in the past. Here we have the full card, which is attached to Uranus. Uranus is currently retrograde. The temperance card, the six of swords, the five of cups. Yeah, every time somebody gets pulled back to the past, it causes you to lose sleep. It causes you to sit up at night. I got to find something that's going to help me drift off to sleep. And source is saying, that's what music is for. You all are a very musical sign. Listen to uh, chakra music, listen to meditation music. If you have to listen to hypnosis music, whatever you need to listen to, to flush out that past, that past dark space where you can get up from this, put a big manhole over it. That's too heavy for you to pick back up so that you don't keep having certain dreams. And I can't sleep over X, Y. In other words, thinking about things, sources say, no, I'm trying to help you to move beyond that. Right. King of swords came out twice. <clears throat> King of swords came out twice. Yeah, so somebody is like double, you know, has double the amount of wisdom, double the amount of knowledge about a situation, right? So that you don't have to feel overwhelmed by it. It was a lesson that somebody was supposed to learn, so you don't have to feel foolish. The full card is attached to Uranus, which is currently retrograde. Uranus is the planet of freedom, liberation, and um, and change. So somebody is learning how to change courses with this. Very much like you're in a boat, like here. You know, just like like this right here. Somebody is learning how to change courses. You see the ancestor here, but you don't see the ancestor here. So you have a lot of ancestors around you really trying to empower you so that you don't have to keep overthinking this over and over and over again. Yeah, somebody definitely has a guardian angel that's like really trying to keep you warm hearted um, so that you don't become who hurts you. They're trying to keep you warm hearted and really encouraging you to operate in faith so you can move forward. Yeah, somebody has really wanted to see you hurt. They really wanted to see you crying. You know, they wanted to see you in pain. They wanted to, and unfortunately, believe it or not, um, Pisces, whoever it is, whether it's at work, whether it's in your family or whomever, it can be emotionally draining because that's not your heart towards people. That It hasn't been and it's not your heart towards people. Even if you did something by accident, again, now that you know better, you're actually doing better, Right. You're doing better. So let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Here we have the two of wands. Somebody has the whole world in their hands. Again, you're moving forward. You have the whole world in your hands. And source is saying to you, um, source is saying to you, you know, what are you going to do with this energy? I have new people out here I want you to meet, you know, because you leaving some people behind here that were close to your heart where you've been thinking and thinking and think about a source that I'm putting the whole world in your hands. It's time to travel. It's time to do things that you've been saying you wanted to do. 
I do see you meeting new people. I do see, you know, opportunities for jobs coming across your path if that's what you want. But again, you're going to have to balance out your own scales by not feeling foolish. Like, you know what? I didn't know better. So now that I know better, let me just do better. This is not about age. This is about wisdom. I'm wiser now. So I'm not going to keep beating myself up over something that happened in the past where I didn't know better. Now that I know better, it's time for me to do better. So that's what I'm seeing for you. That is what I'm seeing for you. That's what I'm seeing for you. Let's see what else we have going on here, Pisces. So yes, that's emotionally, this is a, a, a quite an emotional time for everybody. And so you have to decide, um, you have to decide how you're going to allow something to weigh on you. Be bold and make the first move. And so being bold and making the first move just means that you're telling source, thank you. That's being bold. That's boldly going before the throne within yourself of grace. Source, thank you for thank you for um, bringing things to memory that I needed areas I've ne I needed to grow in. I need to forgive people, and I need to I need to go ahead and sever ties with it so I can protect my mental health and that's my physical health so I don't get sick every time I think about it. I don't want to have resentment or bitterness towards people. I really truly want to grow in that area and move on. So that's what I'm seeing for you. That's what I'm seeing for you. That's what I'm seeing for you. If some of you all will notice that sources have been protecting you from certain energies, whether they don't show up at family functions, they happen to be off that day from work, something where you're being protected because source is trying to allow you to go through a transition. Sweet treat. Somebody may be um, in culinary school or somebody may been have been trying to this could be a trigger for somebody, whether you're in culinary school or not. Somebody, may, when you get stressed, you may eat sweet treats for somebody. But whatever it is, Source is trying to help somebody to sever ties with something that could have been stressing you out and causing all kinds of mental and physical anguish. Okay? Yeah. So let's see what your number is. And then we're going to go to your... Um, we're going to go to your affirmation cards, some things that you can say to yourselves. Also, Pisces, I did put a list of questions up on Sunday's readings in case you want a healthy distraction. That's what the questions are for, a healthy distraction. For, for anybody who may have typed the questions out, I may have I pinned them at the top usually. I am centered. Yeah, somebody could have had an encounter with somebody who was vibrating at their lowest frequency. And so it could have just been so deeply disappointing and, and um, devastating for somebody Sources like, mm -mm. once you have an encounter with, you know, some people look at 666 as a devil, but once you have an encounter with an energy that shows their lowest frequency, and it could be anybody, it's something that you'll never forget. It'll little, literally make you sick to your stomach, but you don't have to be. You really don't have to be. A wake-up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts, Pisces, so that you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. Somebody has absolutely been operating in fear. Like if I cut certain people off, how is that going to make me look? There's other people affected if I cut certain people off. This is where you're going to have to take a faith walk. This is where you're going to have to really operate in faith. Because if you don't sever ties with certain people, the people that you're afraid of losing... You're sending a, mis a mixed message to them that, okay, one day you're okay with it, the next day is you're not. And it just, it's too confusing. So this is where somebody's going to be standing firm on something like this person right here, standing firm and freeing yourself, tapping into your strength and going through this rebirth that is um, going to really, really help you um, on the other side of all of this. Also, one of the things I'm picking up to Pisces is that it could be like a tricky situation between somebody and their child's mother or child's father where there could be feeling like if I cut them off, it could be affecting my relationship with my child. Again, only take what resonates with you. I only share with you all the information that comes down through me and it could be causing somebody to eat, um, you know, eat something, eat sweets when you're stressed out, when you've been trying to eat sweets. Right. So one um, source is trying to tell you, hey, listen, um, I'll, re I'll simultaneously remove this desire to eat unhealthy when you're stressed out about a situation. Maybe that your your desire, maybe you you feel like sick to your stomach when you think about eating certain foods. And you're like, okay, I don't want to eat that anymore because I notice a pattern of behavior here. Emotional eating when I start thinking about certain things. So that could be um, happening simultaneously with somebody. But source is also saying to you, 
release the fear of what somebody may have said or did to you in the past by trying to tap into disrupting your resources. Here's the um, queen of cups, because I'm seeing your resources on the come up, on the rise, and they have nothing to do with it. They can't stop or block what source is sending your way. You Again, you have the whole world in front of you. And so nothing that they do or say can stop or block anything that source is already. But I'm looking at clarity, affirmations for clarity. I am clear on my purpose. I am here for a reason. I am worthy. I am valuable. I own my truth. I am moving towards the right direction. I am exactly what I need to. I know exactly what I need to do. I uh, take action towards the things that matter. That's right, Pisces. I take action towards the things that matter. Again, like I said before, whoever and whatever you're leaving behind that has been just connected to some something that has been causing this, sleepless nights, whether they're crying, sweating, vomiting, however it's coming out that's causing this, causing this pit in your stomach to just be in knots. This is where you're going to have to operate in faith and just sever ties. And, and people, have, you know, if they don't understand, it's like, well, you know what? I may have to part ways with you, too, because you don't even know how certain things have really cut me to the core like a sword. That's what I have for you. Again, keep winning, Pisces. That's what I'm seeing for you all. You're getting centered. You're keeping your vibrations very, very high. You are have, you're saying your affirmations for clarity. And again, you're ascending at a high frequency, right? Not looking back at the past, putting a manhole over that. Whatever the past may be, you're not embarrassed. You're not ashamed. None of those things. You're just saying, hey, I'm a different person now. I'm a different person. I, I know better. Now that I know better, I'm doing better. And so part of that begins with taking some kind of action. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Friday. Bye.